They're hiding in your books and devices. There is no escape. Each of their meanings and spellings are different. You guessed right. There, there, there are homophones. Words that sound the same, but have different meanings and spellings. With a few memory tricks and some examples, you will remember how and when to use them correctly. The first there, T-H-E-Y apostrophe R-E, is a contraction. See the waving apostrophe? A contraction is a word made by two combined words using an apostrophe to show where the missing letters would go. There is also used before an adjective or a verb ending in ing. There is a contraction of they are. A sentence will make sense if you replace there with they are because they and are make there. Let's try it out. There are red shoes. They are red shoes. They're going to the store. They are going to the store. Let's try another sentence. I want to go there too. Would it make sense, I want to go there are too? No. I want to go there too. The second there is the correct there. T-H-E-R-E, -E, there, can be used as an adverb or a pronoun. As an adverb, it refers to a location or position. Did you move over there? There is the opposite of here. Where is the word here hiding? Look closely to see the word here in it. Sometimes you can switch to the word here to check if you use the right spelling of there. I'm here, you're there. I'm here, you're here. Here's another example. The rabbit is over there in the hat. The rabbit is over here eating carrots. As a pronoun, it's used to introduce a word or clause. There is nothing wrong with her. Let's try another sentence. Their dog is white. What about her dog is white? No, that doesn't sound right. We need to use a third type of there. T-H-E-I-R can be used as a possessive adjective or a pronoun. As a possessive adjective, it shows belonging or ownership. When something belongs to someone, a group of people, or animals, you can check if their works in a sentence by substituting his or her. Their house is new. Her house is new. His house is new would also make sense. Their fur is very thick. Her fur is very thick. His fur is very thick would also make sense. As a pronoun, there would have an S at the end. Theirs is used at the end of a sentence. For example, the blue car is theirs. Let's try another sentence. They're all flying on the plane. Would the sentence her off flying on the plane make sense? No, that doesn't work. We need to use the first there, T-H-E-Y apostrophe R-E, because they are flying on the plane does work. Let's review. There, T-H-E-Y apostrophe R-E is a contraction of they are. There, T-H-E-R-E -E, is an adverb, refers to a place, its opposite is here. As a pronoun, it introduces a word or clause. The third there, T-H-E-I-R, as a possessive adjective, 
shows ownership. His or her can be substituted to check your sentence. Its opposite is ours. As a pronoun, you would have an S at the end, and it's used to ending a sentence. Which there belongs in this sentence? There or they are? That's they are new car. Nope. That's here new car. Nope. That's our new car? Yes, that's the correct answer. Put your shoes over they are? No. Put your shoes over here? That sounds right. Or put your shoes over our? That doesn't work. So the correct answer is there. T-H-E-R-E. -E. They are waiting for the sunset. Sounds right. Here are waiting for the sunset? No. Our are waiting for the sunset? No. So the correct answer is there. T-H-E-Y apostrophe R-E. Now you have a better understanding of how to use these three homophone words, there, there, and there. Thank you for joining me in this episode of Word Wars. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.